Ukraine's defense ministry is calling the event in Donetsk, quote, disgusting, but that's not the only point of controversy that arose in Ukraine over the weekend. CCTV's Tom Barton picks up that part of the story. This comes as Russia continues to claim it was helping people in eastern Ukraine through an aid convoy sent across the border unilaterally on Friday. We started moving only when we received official um, note from the Ukrainian government sa saying that they were ready to uh, accept this aid. And this is a major, major operation and people are in need. Russia sent the convoy in with no agreement from Ukraine or the Red Cross, raising fears the trucks were carrying weapons for pro-Russian militants, though Russia denies it. Germany has urged all sides to work towards a ceasefire and has warned Russia that if it continues interfering in Ukraine, it could face further sanctions. But sanctions and Moscow's food import bans in response are making Russia's economy stronger, goes the official Russian government line. Not so, says Igor Nikolaev from Moscow's Institute of Strategic Analysis. The Russian economy is not growing. Before yesterday, there was a small plus. That means that tomorrow there will be a minus. The trend is currently going down. So the economic situation is very worrying. Negotiations are taking place on Tuesday between Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin in the Belarus capital, Minsk. Tom Barton, CCTV, Moscow.